identity is an important thing in our indigenous lives. If you go anywhere and they'll ask you, who are you, where do you come from, what you're dreaming, what's your skin, I carry my identity. It's in me, yeah, and it's in my ceremony, my country. My name is Terry Wolumir Daniels. It was me who founded the Women Ranger Project here at Nuka in 2002. I said to my girls, you must be committed to what you are doing. Because when you are committed to your work, your work can com be committed to you. My name is Julie Roy and I'm Yukul Monkey Ranger. I've been a ranger for eight years. We work for the Northern Land Camps. I decided to come ranger to look after the country. My name is Edna Nelson. Feel connected always when we get out bush. Decided to come a ranger to know more about land and see Yukul Monkey Rangers. We do fire management, aerial burning, and also do some burning with that drip torch. We do weed control. They're no good. It's killed from. I'm not quite sure where they came from, but they're just the silent invaders that came to through our land. We do feral animals control, fishery, patrolling the river. My name's Amelia Enns and I'm a research fellow at the Australian National University. Hey, look out, Possum. I've been working with the Yugumangi Women Rangers since 2008. Did the government mob will loan us some stuff. Yeah. Yeah? Recently, the Nature Conservancy have funded a baseline biodiversity survey for the proposed southeastern Arnhem Land Indigenous Protected Area. Okay, ready, girls? The rangers and I are working on this project together to conduct a species inventory of the flora and fauna, so the animals and plants that are occurring in this region. 73. Salt MS. And also establish some long-term monitoring sites. So for this project, again, we're using a two-way approach using Western scientific and Indigenous knowledge. So we're monitoring plants and animals that are of interest to the rangers and the local community, as well as to the scientific community. We decided to find three billabongs because of the buffaloes and pigs and horses, they eat the lilies, they destroy the ecosystem. To conduct the species inventory and the monitoring project, the Nature Conservancy purchased us with motion sensor cameras, so we're using those at a number of sites that are significant to the ranges to look for small mammals in particular, because there's been a decline in small mammals in the region over the last few decades. This is the place called Bullock Spring. We here um, collect camera strap. See if any feral animals that we caught on the camera. Really, we're looking for yeah. possum. Beautiful, very high. Yeah. We take it back to the office and we downloaded it. It is important because it helps us to look at uh, most of our animals to see what's there that we haven't seen for many, many years. <laughs> We've got them in those cameras and their possums. It made me feel really, really happy inside. I'll tell my children that there are possums in their motherland. That's my country.
We heard that the Nature Conservancy project will continue, so we'll be able to create a picture of the spatial distribution of plants and animals and also changes through time. So as the rangers engage in their fire management, feral animal management and weed management work, we might see changes in the plants and animals. So we're using this as a tool to help us understand the outcomes of the ranger work. <laughs> Another interesting and important thing that we're doing is bringing in some of the old people and the young people into the project creates a bit more of a sustainable effort. So it's not just the rangers doing it themselves, but they're also educating the community as we go. We bring kids along to see what we do and teach them about the bush medicine and bush tucker. We're also doing plant species inventory, so can, developing a local herbarium, collecting all the different plants, pressing them and naming them, and by monitoring some plant species that are significant to the ranges in the community. And those have been identified largely as bush tucker and bush medicine plants. It's good for people who are diabetic and good for blood pressure. People go into the water and gather them. You can really eat it raw or cook. External partnerships are really important for the rangers and the women rangers in particular. They provide technical support for their work and also extra resources to help them carry out their responsibilities. The women rangers do some amazing work. They're really passionate about their country and culture and that inspires me to want to work with them more as well. I think they're an amazing group of women. <laughs> I love being a ranger. It is important we pass on what we know. We need more young rangers to take over to look after the country. Our ancestors were rangers. We were our rangers for 40,000 years and our rangers today. It's our responsibility for us to look after those things. It's just like I'm an ownership to that thing. Not just like I am, an ownership to a tree or stone or billabong. We are not doing it for ourselves. We are doing this for our country and for our people and for the sake of our culture, our culture, keeping our culture alive and strong.